Hi, I'm Maria Walther. I'm Jessica Walsh. We're two traveling teachers here at Patterson Elementary School. Uh, we are visiting here during their all school drop everything and read. So awesome. we got to walk around and see kids reading all over the school, teachers reading lots of different books. So we're here to talk about some adaptations today. Yeah. And Jess is gonna kick us off. I'm super excited about this adaptation. So you are familiar probably with Kwame Alexander's New York Times bestseller and Newbery Medal winning book, uh, as well as Credit Scott King Honor book, The Crossover. Um, this book is very special to me. I'm not here to book talk this book, but I can't go without saying how much this book means to me and my readers. Um, years ago, before it won the Newbery, uh, we had the honor at my middle school of having Kwame Alexander and the Crossover be our one book, one school title. Um, Kwame came that day, and he makes everybody feel like you're his best friend, like yeah. that you're the special school. He has that gift, and that's why there's the hashtag Kwame showed up, right? Well, Kwame showed up to Granger. These are some of our kiddos in the gym for the big event. Uh, some of our awesome student created decorations. He did his thing. He's just a yeah, star amazing. up there. Yep. Um, and what I love about, first of all, what I love about the crossover, and I lost it, is Here. that it's a perfect book for a read aloud, which is what we did for our celebration, our one book, one school. We read it aloud. Um, the poetry is so rhythmic and musical. It has a beat to it, so it's super fun to read aloud. It's meant to be performed, right? So our kiddos, some of my kiddos picked out some of the chapters from the crossover to memorize and then perform for him in a special small group poetry slam, um, and he loved it. And in fact, I just remembered this, teachers like teacher amnesia um, but he had featured some of our kiddos in his extended book trailer for the crossover oh, that really? came out a couple years ago That's yeah so, cool. so and I just rewatched it the other day and then all the memories came back um, so I love the crossover and I, now the crossover is gonna reach a new audience with the graphic novel adaptation so it's the same text but it's uh, e made even better with Daoud Anya Blile's illustrations he's a, a famous comic book illustrator um, but just look at how it pops. And one of the things I loved about the original is the cover has, looks like basketball, oh, um, orange, right? Yeah. So it's like, that's the theme, it's like the orange. Well, they hit it on the head with the orange again in this book. It's just a grayscale um, palette, but with that pop of orange. And so it really adds another layer. You can see the characters, they come to life. So this is what I'm super excited about this week. Uh, the crossover uh, adaptation, graphic novel adaptation from Kwame Alexander and Daoud Anya Blule. And they broke the um, oh, graphic yeah. novel format, yeah. so no, no, no panels. panels. Yep. No panels, yeah. And I think that just um, is a great accompaniment to the text, right? Yeah. So, yeah. Hey. And I am excited this week about Nya's Long Walk, to, uh, Nya's, Nya's Long Walk, One a Step at a Time. This is Linda Sue Park's picture book adaptation of The Long Walk to Water with Brian Pinkney's illustration. And in this book, Nya's walking uh, with her sister. You can see here with her younger sister. And her younger sister is complaining and kind of not in her usual um, mood. And it ends up her younger sister is very ill. So this is a fictionalized story. This is just introducing the young reader to the story. And so what happens is the younger sister is very sick. Nya and ends up having to carry her and the water back home. And once they get back home, they find that in order to get health care, they have to walk again. And that's where you leave it. That's where you leave the story. So it's just, I think the young readers will be able to connect with the sister relationship. I think they'll be able to understand what it feels like to have to walk that far for water. And, you know, what if it, you were out there and something like that happened? So those are our adaptations this week. We're here from Patterson Elementary School. We'll see you next time. Thank you.